Fighting out of the red corner, he's wearing the gold colors of the famous Crump Gym in Detroit, Michigan. His professional record, 46 victories, 38 by knockout, only three defeats. Included in his history is the welterweight, super welterweight, middleweight, super middleweight, and light heavyweight world championships. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, he challenges for the WBC super middleweight title. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the five-time champion of the world, Thomas Hitman straight up in the center of the ring. Thomas Hearns moving forward. Big right thing. Hand. That's it. He's got Will Huss in trouble. He got a right hand through, a combination. Left, right, left to the body, and he comes up over the top of the right hand. He's got Will Huss on the ropes. And the referee mixed in a couple of body combinations against the ropes. Tommy Hearns back in. Right, left. He's throwing six punches, eight punches. He's got Rojas. Hearns has Rojas in his own corner. He's got him double up. There's a right hand. A left comes through. Another right. A combination. The referee steps in and pulls him away one more time. This fight is ended. A TKO in the first round. Thomas Hearns. To get him out of there. Going after Murillo on the right of your screen. He's had him down twice. Hearns really going to work. He wants him out here in the eighth. Tim Ryan and Gil Clancy and Daryl Harris Murillo, right hand. There it is. He's not getting up this time. Lean right hand, right on his chin. Can Whoop. you believe this? He fooled me. And there's an overhand right down to Murillo again. Second knockdown in round number eight. And he's up again. Got to be frustrating for her not to be able to finish this one. Now, others might say too soon. And a warning to Hearns, and of round five. And Weston in the dark trunks. Plus the body shot. It's right now, it's starting to seem as though it's starting to tell on young Tommy Hearns. Now the between the rounds intermission, the fight has been stopped. A celebration in the corner of young Thomas Hearns as Harold Weston unable to answer the bell prior to round seven. He's on the right of your screen in white. Bruce Curry in the purple velvet trunks on the left. Tim Ryan and Gil Clancy ringside. Curry at the top of your screen. Welterweights and neither flight of his move. Right hand grazing. Good right hand. Staggered Curry. Hearns on the attack. Curry bobbing and weaving well, but down he goes. It's over. He hit him with some right hand. Right on the butt. A knockout victory here for Thomas Hearns in round number three. Curry trying to get up. He's not going to make it. Arthur Mercati calls it a knockout. Figueroa. Mexico. Tommy Hearns from Detroit. There's going to be trouble. Um, oh, Hearns. Oh, right hand. Left's, right. It's all Hearns. Figueroa fighting for his life. It's all over. Tommy Hearns destroys Jose Figueroa at 1 minute 17 seconds. He's a little unorthodox, and he does a strange thing. He has that good...
almost underneath the uh, the. begins for round three. Now they're out in ring center. Hearns heard a spotter with a sharp right. And now Hearns is really peppering him. And a spotter unable to cover effectively. This is only third round action. And it seemed inevitable from the very first round. The movement seems to have gone out of a spotter as a fighter. He is at the crossroads and this may end it. Rosadilla, the official, must keep a close eye on him. It's the second knockdown from a bevy of blows, and it looks like a quick finish as we're down inside the 22nd mark of round three. And look at that right. Immediately, a spotter went down. That's it. Rosadilla did the right thing. A knockout in the fourth round. The fight stopped by Larry Rosadilla. But a spotter had already gone down three times. Twice at the time. This was first round action immediately. Got the right in and another right. Got Valdez off balance, as you saw. But Valdez, an aggressive youngster, terribly game, terribly unafraid fought back. Joey Curtis of Nevada was the third man in the ring. Oh, a good right by Valdez made Hearns mad at that point, as you can see. And quickly, Hearns attacked with both hands. And it was finally a right that put Valdez. Then Hearns quickly returned to the walls, and you see him connecting with lefts and rights. As gutsy a kid as you would have wanted to see kept fighting. But finally, after that barrage of blows, Valdez went down. Look at him there. He was groggy, groggy against the ropes. He was glassy-eyed, and Curtis did the right thing. It was a first-round TKO for Thomas Hearns. Well, here we go. The bell starts round number two. Tommy Hearns looking for the knockout as the man in front of him. Wavens again. Oh, the right hand catches him. Not only the right hand, but look at these left. Can you believe it? Thomas has got a lot of problems with Thomas. Oh, right hand gets through. Big right hand again. Look at this shot. He's ready to go. He's got him in big trouble. Chris Doodle having a good look. Tommy not very patient here. He's throwing wild shots, but a lot landing. Wavens trying to answer all of his. A short. Thomas ducks underneath shots, and he looks to be walking right through. Oh, the right hand. and he wants to load up the right hand and bang there it is right there right on the cheek right on the money and then he catches him again boom again and then finally down he goes and it's a hard knockdown notice the way his head crushed into the canvas <laughs>
round 12 here live in Phoenix, Arizona, WBA World Welterweight Championship at stake. He's trying to go downstairs, then upstairs, then downstairs, then the right. Oh, a terrible right against... Not all acts of courage. Nine, nine eight... Back live in Phoenix, Arizona. Randy Shields survived the 12th round, but there will be no 13th. He could go no further. The ring doctor stopped the fight. Tommy Hearns retains his title. A technical knockout. Middleweight clash for Thomas Hitman Hearns in white, Geraldo in blue. He lost a lot of his punching power. He found bigger, heavier guys that they didn't go to in the lightweight. himself up in the corner directly above us Hearns corner at eight he's trying to get to his feet he's up he's down again it is a knockout in round number one the hitman hit it well kid Tommy definitely needed a knockout especially after I defeated Hearns in much the better shape and and it's about time around. it's about time if you had a bit of punches in the sixth round with Tommy that way McCracken was reaching he's weary and very tired and he's hurt He's Wonder McCracken. He's ready now, Tim. Back to can't go much further. Kern sensing it, banging to the he body. Can't go much the referee further. watching it, saying that's it. He can do no more. Couldn't get the hands up, but it's a knockout victory in the eighth round for Thomas Hearn. Hearns using the jab in the, most of this first round. And the outside, there's a big right. The right hand of Hearn sent him down. Wow. Winning in this first round. Still, Tommy Hearns goes after him. Again, Duran is down. The Hearns jab setting everything up, and again, he's got Duran in trouble on the rope. Right hand again stuns Duran. The speed of Hearns too much for Tommy. And Tommy Hearns wins it by knockout. That right. From another angle, it's just as painful to Roberto Duran. Hutchings in white. The champion Hearns in goal. Now will Hearns again? Hutchins does not have the experience. He's not been in the caliber of fight. His right hand. And down he goes. The first knockdown, a right hand. Ten has to get him out of here. He's got 20 seconds to do it. And with the mouthpiece out, his, his lip is cut now, Tim. He's in bad shape. An overhand right sending Hutchings down for the second time. Tim, there's seven seconds left. He may doesn't it. follow back. Tommy Hearns having some fun in there now, and he hurt him with another right hand lead. That's a, you know, one of the handlers up on the corner. Looked like he was trying to stop the fight from the Hutchings corner. There's a right hand by Hearns in a combination. Hutchings won't go down. A handler stepping into the ring from the Hutchings corner, trying to get the referee to stop the fight, and Mercanti does. Hutchings handler, I believe that's Benny Casey, stepped into the ring during the action, trying to get the referee to stop it, and Mercanti, the referee, has stopped the fight. With the black waistband is uh, James Shuler of... Is there any show shock showing from uh, Hearns? It doesn't look it in the opening round. He's picking the punches off beautifully. The first minute. Oh, there it goes. He was showing that one all the time. It's an absolute magnificent start there. And Shula, not only is he be unbeaten in his first loss, is a definite count out as Richard Steele leads over him there. What a tremendous win. He like middleweight championship for the fourth time here in Las Vegas tonight. This time of ten previous world title fights. Dal is down. Opening round. The power of the hitman is telling already. Five, six. Hit the air with the right. Two go pop. In a bad state on that left. 
and ask the doctor if he really is able to continue with an injury like that. And I don't think he is somehow. No, nope, it stopped. Eighth round. The doctor has called it off because of the damage to Madal's left eye. Well, you can see for yourself, he really shouldn't be allowed to go on with an injury like that. Dennis Andres in the black trunk is the WBC world in anything but a push. Here we go again. And again, that's just exhaustion. There's no punch. He's looking for a count. <laughs> Five, six, seven. Herrera is calling hey, down a knockdown. Any He's reason stopping the fight. fight. He throw him from anywhere, you know, I'm trying to put the right hand together. Nice. Hey, what a foul. Foul with him. He's in trouble. Rolled in, trying to find the target. Good bobbing and weaving by her. And the title of the right heavy. Rodan is keeping his head down now and punching. Tommy's doing the wrong. His hands are totally down, Rodan. Trying to throw the uppercut in the right hand. Landed the right hand, down goes Rodan. Left hooks to the body would set that up. He's not going to get up. Seven. This one is over. Thomas Hearns has made boxing history. Now, get out of it. And there it is again. He just walked right into it. Well, you know, Rodan never doesn't pace himself. He's, it's either you or him. He just lets it all hang out. His two tremendous right hands that Tommy took on the chin. 77. Did you know this, Virgil? That's unbelievable. 147 pounds. Yeah. Tommy's starting to loosen up now. Oh. He was working. Jill Hill said that he would do. Oh, there it is. What's the left cross. A solid left hand to the jaw. And whether or not Morton can get up, I don't know. The referee, Pat Russell, counting over him. I don't That's think so. It's over. Tommy Hearns in his second fight in 19 months. I think so. I think that he uh, probably is something more than just an exhibition. And I a lot of that world-class sport. Ken Atkin now in some trouble. Tommy Hearns. That's one punch that he got hit with some. There's the right hand. Can't have to oh, away for all the Endens men. Absorbing a lot of punishment now as Tommy Hearns really puts together the. Oh, so the doctor is now going to take a look at the eye of Ken Atkin, and that's it. Carl Williams, the referee, calls it off. Stopped on cuts. Kid Atkin put on a good show. And All right, that's a cut. That's a bad cut. Yeah, Tommy works up a sweat, but that's about it. Olympic. He feels like he's a forgotten man in the boxing scene. One of the questions, Tim, though, which one he is that right hand? Well, he just landed two of them, and he's got Maynard in trouble. He's answered the question. Maynard now just trying to survive this round. Lost in 10 seconds. Well, Maynard is big right hand over the top from Hearns after Maynard had landed a left. Four, five, Hearns with that overhand six, right, and Maynard may not get up from this. Eight, Trying to get up, nine, but he's hit. They're going to stop it. A first round knockout for Thomas Hearns. And Tim, he certainly wasn't reluctant to throw that right. Hand. He's going to take a chance, and I'll tell you that much. Set that up with their left to the body, which is what went out. Hearns wants to go for the kill. Down. Well, some early respect. And he was down again. To the temple he was caught. One more and this is over. It looked like Tommy. The battle of Kemp. Final 20 seconds. 
He's wincing. The body shot to the heart. The fight's over. The fight's over, folks. Thomas Hearns is back. Exactly there. He's in trouble. Tommy hit him with a good upper left upper cup to sent him down for the third and final time. Five underway, and Dave, through four rounds, how do you have to this fight score? Uno, dos, fantástico de Hers, el público se pone en pie, otro más, y acaba de caer, dos, uno, dos seguidos, con la cara hecha una mierda, acaba de perder, han sido dos, uno, dos seguidos, ahí está el directo de derecha, el primero, que lo deja casi hecho una mierda, ahora irá el segundo, otro más, uno, dos, que hace que doble la rodilla, el pobre Willis.